Oh dear. Let's play pretend for a moment. Imagine you're a dog and there is a house on the street where you can get food. You know about this house. It's the only one that can give you what you need. So because you're starving, you go and scratch on the door, hoping for some scraps. The door finally opens and the owner, upon seeing your sad state, says, Hi little dog, I know exactly what you want. I'll bring you something to eat. And the door shuts. And you wait. And you wait. And you wait. After a few days, you start scratching again because you're starving. The door opens again. Oh, I'm sorry, doggo. I'm having some trouble with the stove. But don't worry, I'll bring you something to eat soon. I promise. The door shuts. And you guessed it. You wait. Eventually, you scratch again. The door opens. Oh, I'm so sorry, doggo. It's far more difficult to make your food than we initially thought. But don't worry, I'll have it here soon, okay? I promise. For those of you who have been with the game for a very long time, this routine should sound very familiar. A few days ago, a friend of mine, Shai Kaiju from Facebook, asked Star Stable when we could expect the update to the character models, seeing as the end of the year was fast approaching. As you can see, SSO's response is not exactly what they promised us at the start of the year. Yes, yes. We all understand that the character update is a huge undertaking, but when you make a statement like, what can you expect this year? Updates to the character models. It certainly builds an anticipation and an expectation in the player base. It's SSO's responsibility to deliver, not ours to make excuses for them when they don't. So despite making numerous promises that they would update the character models this year, it seems SSO might already be trying to wriggle themselves out of that obligation. Now, to be absolutely fair, there is still at least three months left of 2021 and they might still keep to the promise. But as shown by their track record, this will probably not come to fruition. They have in the past promised updates to gameplay numerous times and they have given us hope that we will get some dressage into this gaming series. But SSO always conveniently forgets or ignores these promises in favor of doing what they really want to do, which is make horses to make money. Now I have discussed their monetary obsession to an exhausting extent, but today I'd like to ask the question, why don't they keep their promises? At the end of the day, if a promise will give them monetary gain or some benefit, they would obviously follow through with the promise, as shown by all the horses they promise and always follow through with. But seeing as so many promises are made and dropped, they obviously don't need to follow through with these gameplay and quest obligations. But why is that? And why can they get away with failing to deliver on promises? The answer is actually as simple as you can imagine. They simply don't need to follow through with certain promises. And I'd like to explain why that is, and why we might never get the game we hope for, unless Star Stable makes a conscious effort to change their monetary policy. For those of you who don't know, many MMOs today run on what we call the three-tier system. This is a system which determines how important you as a player currently are to the company. Star Stable absolutely runs on this three-tier system, and I'm going to show how. Now, the three tiers that you find are Tier 1, Free Player, Tier 2, New Player, and Tier 3, Old Player. So the first tier, the Free Players, are the most important to the company. They are potential new and growing money, in that they can overnight become a monetary asset, once they decide to buy the subscription. So a lot of advertisements and promotions are catered for this tier. For example, they will update weekly, sometimes more, to ensure these players are bombarded by the possibilities of the game. They will add visual updates, like horses or gear, consistently to show they can show something pretty or nice to these players to entice them more easily. Which is why gameplay is just not important. It's not something you can show as a visual sensation. A picture is worth a thousand words after all. Gameplay is also not important as these players have not experienced the game at all, so anything they experience will be new. Finally, their promotions will be focused around these players. They will add play free for a week, play free for 30 days or play free for a day. These are all ways to help the player experience the game briefly and ensure they remain invested to finally buckle and purchase a membership. Once the player has bought a membership, they are then upgraded to Tier 2 new player. These players have just started playing the game in earnest, 
So they are still exploring Jorvik, they are still opening up areas, they are still finishing up quests and finding new things to enjoy. They are still a long way away from finishing the game. This tier is the most invested in the game, they have already spent a lot of money. The updates get them excited because they want to experience something new in their new playground, like new horses, new tack and new gear. They are also the most profitable, especially if they bought a once-off membership. These players have the potential to blast hundreds if not thousands of dollars on star coins because they are still heavily invested and want to enjoy their purchase to the greatest extent. So they encourage them to do so with well-aimed promotions. Double star coin weeks. If you are still heavily invested in something and a promotion comes along that will let you have more of what you have, you are probably going to buy it. They are also the most active players, they have clubs and they are still enjoying the game to its fullest capacity. They are starstruck, so to speak. Once this player has finished the quest line and they have reached a point of boredom with the game, then they reach Tier 3, Old Players. Tier 3 is the exact moment when the MMO company stops caring about you, because you can't offer them anything, you are done with the game, your investment in the game has dwindled and the company has gotten what they wanted out of you, your $80 and all the money you spent on the game while you were still invested. In short, you are worthless to them, which is why they don't really cater new content to older players. For example, updates to the story or updates to the gameplay. The mid-ranged, for example, aren't bored yet and the free players haven't even started yet, so everything is new. They don't need to update these elements because older players don't matter. These older players have a lifetime membership. The company got what they wanted, so even if you leave, they still won't care. Now we can certainly make the argument that if the quest line is longer, then players will stay longer and they will spend more money. But no, they don't need to, because their monetary policy is quite simple. Get free players to register, get new players to buy horses, and we get millions. Why in the world should they change the formula when it works so well? And that's why they don't need to care. The character models is an update that is solely for tier 3 players, those who are tired of the crusty, ugly models, those who want a fresh coat of paint, those who want something new, those who are done with the game. Tier 1 and tier 2 don't really care, they are a low maintenance group, they don't need anything more than what is currently in the game, so it's just easier to make products specifically to keep them happy. Really, anything will do. And that's it. As terrible as it is, that's why they don't care. We, as all the players, are essentially worthless to them. If SSO ever tries to change into something better, it will be most likely because there is a monetary gain, not for player enjoyment. And therein lies the tragedy. These older players have been with the game so long that they know it inside out. They can see the clear potential and possibilities in the game. They are the ones who know the law, the story, who are truly passionate about it. Older players should never be thrown out. As a company, you're supposed to celebrate them as the passionate and loving fans that they are and have been for years. And if SSO was willing to listen to them, to take into account what they are saying, to make the changes that they are asking, they might find their game growing into something truly wonderful. Let's hope that one day they do.